In this video, let's talk about camera tracking and virtual production with Mosis. All right, real quick, you're watching Video Brand. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make this NAB coverage possible. We got Metricool, Massive, OpenReel, Vestigit, and Adspective. All right, now back to the video. All right, I'm here with Steven from Mosis. Uh, so Steven, can you first off kind of just give an overview, uh, 101 explanation, what is Mosis? Okay, so Moses, uh, you're going to associate Moses with virtual production. Uh, we are probably best known for our Star Tracker product. So, Star Tracker is probably the most sold tracking solution, optical tracking solution for virtual production. So, it's the, you know, all virtual production relies on rock solid camera tracking. Mm -hmm. The first thing that you've got to start with is, well, a, a little bit of knowledge, which, which we can help with through the academy that we've got, okay. where we bring people in, just move them along a little bit in the knowledge. Um, people that have got a lot of interest in virtual production, they don't know necessarily where they're going to start, what the mm -hmm. next step is. We bring them in our academy that we run through um, our office in London okay. and also in uh, LA. So the academy is all about small group, um, practical, hands-on learning. Um, so people leave, um, I guess, with confidence, with knowledge, to be able to go back to the studio and start playing with their system. And that's where the rest of the hardware and the, the software story starts. So we then uh, start tracking. Um, so Star Tracker is the product. Actually, we've got the new Star Tracker, Star Tracker oh, yeah. Max, with us okay. just here. So Star Tracker Max is our, uh, our new iteration of the successful Star Tracker. Star Trek Max is a lot smaller than the original version, so you can see the on the back of the camera right there. You can see the the processor unit. You might be able to see. I mean, it's very small, but you might be able to see the the IR camera, which is just under the lens here. So it functions in the same way as the original Star Trek. You can have the camera pointed down at the ground, as we have here, and we're tracking from these retinal reflective markers. Mm. In a real studio, you'd probably track from above. We would have the stars mounted above. It's a really simple process. You load the camera up with the star tracker, then you put down these stars. Um, they go down in a random order. Um, they're totally passive, they're just a retinal reflective um, marker. We create a star map, so we, we, when we initiate the system, we record the location of those stars. And then from then on in, every time you come into the studio, you just power up. And then the system calls up the star map that you've created, and you're ready to go every morning, year after year, day after day, year after year. So kind of once you set it up once, you're ready to go to keep track, you don't have to like recalibrate. Absolutely, this is something, this is a feature that studio owners repeatedly tell me that they love about Star Tracker. They're not spending their time or getting their engineers to mess around in the morning, having to rehome or recalibrate, fine tune the system. You just power up and away you go. And so this is tracking, so this gives you the sense of where the camera is in its location, and then people can feed that into their virtual production, map it out to exactly. yeah, track the camera. Exactly, yeah. So we're able to track the position of the camera, but also take the lens data. Mm. So it's really important, and we combine that and we feed it into VP Pro XR which is our LED um, content service solution that sits as a direct plug-in within Unreal Engine. Mm, okay. So you, re you retain all of the benefits of Unreal Engine, but then you've got some, some magic that uh, uh, most bring to the table within there. Okay, and uh, what else do you have, so I know this is new, what else do you have that's new uh, here at NAB? Okay, so what we have new, we've got the, the Morwell. Uh, so it's one of our robotic products. It's a curved rail and we can adjust the height of the, the, the rail. So the intention is for it to be used in newsrooms, um, think sports broadcast, things like that. And maybe corporate applications, even houses of worship have been uh, interested in this product. So the idea is that we can, um, we can mount a PTZ camera and we can use it with track graphics and virtual production or in a traditional studio. Um, and we, we can control the movement. We can program the movement and we can control it. So you've got a nice parallax controlled movement around the mm -hmm. presenter. So it creates a nice that parallax. The content then becomes a lot more immersive with just that gentle movement as the camera mm -hmm. rotates around the presenter. So we've got that, it's generating a lot of interest. And we've also got the new G30 gyro stabilized uh, remote head for cinematic packages. Okay. With the uh, with the track, do you, is by the having the position of the track, is that, and it's a PTZ camera, does that uh, generate the position data or do you still have to have the, uh, the uh, stars on the floor? The dot? Okay, yes, yeah, so with the Morel, um, with the tracked Morel, Yes, we've got a small, um, a small star tracker that sits in the base of the PTZ shoe that we use. Mm -hmm. So as that rotates around the rail, it is tracking from stars that you put down on the floor. Okay. Got so it. it's it's like a mini, a miniaturized star tracker that sits okay. in, the, in the in the shoe of a PTZ. A mini star tracker guy. Okay. Yeah. And uh, have you found that applications more a little bit if you have like a smaller setup or like you're doing um, 
a smaller studio or like something a, bit, a little bit more semi-permanent setup? Yeah, I guess it would be a permanent setup. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's kind of a fixed installation. Mm -hmm. um, it's not necessarily a small studio. It's a, a kind of typical newsroom kind of setup, size mm -hmm. room. Um, so yeah, so it's got a fixed radius of four meters actually. So that'll give you an idea of the scale okay. of the product. Okay, cool. And uh, what was, you had a uh, cinematic focus, or is that another? Update? Yeah. So cinematic XR focus is something that's really captured people's attention. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, something going on over my shoulder. <laughs> so Cinematic XR Focus is a unique feature that Motors brings to the table. So it's a feature set within VP Pro XR, and it uniquely enables us to pull focus from objects in the for the real objects in the foreground to virtual assets placed deep within the scene. Mm. So this is con this is transforming the LED wall into a window, so into the into the 3D scene, into the, in the virtual world. So for storytellers and cinematic applications, it really is a game changer. You know, the, the, what we're trying to do here is enable storytellers to, to tell their story and, and be as compelling as possible. And XR Focus is a, a real a real sort of gem in the crown um, of, of what we've got here. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for the updates. Really appreciate You're it, Stephen. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you for watching the video. For more of our NAB coverage, be sure to check out the playlist right here and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.